In State College, Pennsylvania, Joe Paterno and future Big Ten powerhouse Penn State entered the 1969 season ranked number three nationally. Fresh off an unbeaten season and an Orange Bowl victory the year before, Paterno and the Nittany Lions zeroed in on winning a national title in 1969. The whole defense practically is back for 69. With Jack Ham, uh, and you had uh, Denny Oncotts, Mike Reed, Steve Smear. I mean, you can just go down to Neil Smith. A great, great team, which proved it throughout the year. Coming off an undefeated season in 1968, Penn State continued their winning ways to start 1969. The backfield tandem of Franco Harris and Lydell Mitchell powered the Nittany Lions to a pair of wins over Navy and Colorado. That was some tandem, I'll tell you. Franco was, well, he was the whole package. Size, speed, uh, tough, game player, and so was Mitchell. Mitchell was as tough a running back as we've ever had at Penn State. Penn State's 2-0 start had the Nittany Lions sitting at number two in the polls. Penn State's national title hopes were a bit more complicated. After humbling Maryland 48 to nothing, number four Penn State faced a decision. Suitors from the Cotton Bowl, Orange Bowl, and the Sugar Bowl had all offered invitations to Joe Paterno's Nittany Lions. When it came time for the bowl bids, it went out. The bowl bids went out before the season ended, and Arkansas and and Texas were like number two or number three or number four, or number five were all that, and they had to play yet. And Penn State accepted uh, the game to the Orange Bowl uh, to play Missouri, which was up there highly rated. 